Hey guys, Jordan Phoenix 22 back here again, guys. And I'm super excited, guys, to bring you part two of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies to Rising Drac a road to from rank 713 to 1000, guys. Grind hype. Part two. But anyway, let's get into this. Um, you know, uh, I went downstairs, had a little break, guys. You know, and I'm first, guys, and I'm back, and I'm ready to play part two. I uploaded it. Part part one is now has been uploaded on YouTube. So, if you guys want to check that out, and if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch for all the latest Call of Duty content and other games, guys. And let's get into this, guys. And it, there is a donation button if you want it on Twitch and on YouTube, guys. If you feel like supporting me, if you're supporting the channel, and making the content I do every day better. And thank you so much for the support so far. We just hit 116 followers on Twitch and 21 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you so much for the support. Right, let's get into this, guys. Da, 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 da. So, like I said before, um, the goal is to grind, 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 yeah? And just grind for the levels. No worry, any other goal to it, just grind. Because, like I said, we just need to level up. As fast as possible. But also, we gotta take a break every now and then and play other games. So I have been breaking. I have been taking other breaks. And those breaks have been stint rolls. You know. Uh, I've done a lot of content on my channel for Gears of War. And I've done a ton of content, guys, on The Witcher 2. So. That's pretty much what's going down as other game preference. I've streamed quite other games, but they never really, you know, got uploaded to my content, to my finny. But I'll be sure to bring the next games in the future will be uploaded, don't you worry. It's just at the time I was just shy and twitch, so some of the games didn't come over. But they'll be sure to come over in the future. But like I said, I am excited to bring you part two. Because uh, part one went so well on twitch, so I'm excited to do this for you guys. And hey guys, if you can help me reach my goal, what is 25 subscribers on YouTube, guys, if you can help me beat that, or just hit it, guys, that'd be awesome. And my goal on Twitch is 120 followers. Well, be absolutely awesome, guys. Do everything you can, guys, to make that goal happen, please. That'd be awesome, guys. You don't have to, guys, but I'm just saying, you know, it's just really going to help me out. If you can do that, guys, it'd be awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. Come on, let's get into this, come on. Perkaholic? Are you killing me right now? Why would I want a Perkaholic? Why would I need one? Now, Nikolai face real challenge. My wife dare touch me there. Pans are down. Um, I joined by accident. Was good impression, though. I accidentally accepted your um party invite. I think I enjoyed that. Yeah, um, I was going through uh, the. Like the notifications, and I actually clicked on it. Because obviously I'm streaming, so I didn't really feel like, you know, you know, jumping into a party of anybody. My controller is charged, and so is my headset, so we can plug these out, guys, and we can. I just charge them when I'm not actually playing the game. I like to charge myself, you know. Keep myself all up to charge, you know. It's, uh. Quick, we get this or not. This is why monkey bombs are super useful. You can get the crap you care about. There is to be more bloodshed, then there should I'm just gonna keep brass for it on this and go boom. Thanks, 714. 
Semi got explosive kills. I don't really know how I did that, but I did. I got 5,000 XP, so that's pretty insane. We're not far off from level 415 now, guys. 915, well, 715. 915, I wish. So rank 714, so that's actually crazy, guys. Let me know what you guys think about my Revelgun's armies. Awesome, not so good. What do you guys think? Leave a bro, you know. And any other questions, guys, don't forget to leave a bro. I try to answer everybody's question. Sometimes it can get a little bit hectic when there's like 10, 10, 11 people in you, but I'll be sure to answer them. Tune away later. I'm I'm personally excited for level 715. So when I get that, you know, that's just gonna look sick. You know, it's gonna look cool as hell. No. Destroy them. One million near. Level 915. 715. See, I keep saying it. I keep saying 915. Nine, <laughs> 915 or something. I keep saying that. I can't wait to get to level 935. Group 935 then. That would be awesome. I was super excited when I got level 115 because that was like 115, you know, awesome number. Um. Well, I'm going to be super excited when I get level 935. That's when I'm going to be excited. I should have really done a video on level 115. Sadly, I didn't. Be, I will wade through rivers of blood. War power? Not so good. <sighs> you know, put that wall power back in there, boy. We don't want that. And when the DLC does finally launch on Xbox One, I will be talking about my opinions on the Gubblegums. Same as I done for DLC One. You know, I had a swan opinion for DLC One. You know, I've used all four Gubblegums quite a lot of the new ones uh, for DLC One. So, so I, I kind of have a swan opinion on them. The only Gubble Gum I actually like for DLC 1, it just has to be hair drama. It's not that useful, but if you do an Easter egg, it can be super helpful. Like, it's one of the Gubble Gums. If you're doing the Easter egg on Dorizen Draka, it's pretty good, man. Other than that, I think it's pretty useless. All the other Gubble Gums didn't seem to do that much. And I hope DLC don't let us down with their Gubble Gums. I've already seen them, but I've not used them, so... Seeing them and using them are two different things. An angry Russian is happy Russian. Until I stop, I am unstoppable. I do not 
like this feeling of being surrounded. I do not like this feeling of being surrounded. A angry Russian is a happy Russian. I don't get it. I don't get that one. Say like I don't get it. Fly yep. without wings, hell pigs. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, before I have a drink there, guys. So when we had time to do that, we had to do it, guys. We just have to. Is it the boss? No, it's not. I don't know if you guys remember going back straight to when Horizon Dragon first launched and I was doing like, you know, ways of trying to get high rounds. I don't know if you remember, but I had this slot and I had the slot up in the room and I had all the camping slots. And I, and I didn't really like this slot because this took, you have to be an experienced player to have this, to do this right, I think. Because you can get caught so easy. But now I'm a bit more experienced on this area, I feel like this is the best area to go. You know, at first I was like, not so keen with it, you know. But now I'm very keen. You monsters underestimate angry Russia. Here again and destroy him. Nikolai is one man army. Actually, everyone who checked out the stream, awesome, awesome stuff, guys. And if you guys are new around here, don't forget to hit that follow button. We always is appreciated. He goes down like a little bitch. I'm in love with that panzer, panzer. I'm in love with that dumb ass panzer. Turn it down for what? Turn it down for what? Yeah. Right, so what are we going down the circus? We ain't possibly going down the circus, son. We're supposed to go up the circus. What are you doing? So, train him again, train him again, train him, train him, train him. Check on the XP, nowhere near. What do you guys think? Do you think we should have had something for this week, you know? Do you think we should have had a double XP weekend, a double weapon XP weekend? What do you guys think we should have had? Personally, I should have thought we should have had a double record of Indian weekend. That would have been awesome, you know. The pool we are going to be having them in the future because I feel like we've had one and that's and that's the only one we've had, you know. We've had one and then we just have it's been like two weeks since we've had one. So 
we had a double X we had a double work grid and we had a double XP. So I'm thinking this week we're not gonna have nothing and next week we're maybe gonna have a double work grid. Or maybe a double weapon. I think double weapon's pretty ruthless. If you're gonna try and level up your weapon, you'd have probably leveled them up by now. Your numbers mean nothing. Like, if you're a hardcore mighty player, you're hardcore on zombies, you know, you've done everything for weapons. XP, not so much, because XP is pretty hard. Alright, so I'm hoping I get a ton of Rokudinium before the end of this game. I might just save my Rokudinium up from now on, just for the DLC. So I can open, like, a, so I can have a massive Rokudinium opening when um, the DLC finally comes out. Uh, and I'll probably buy some out of the donations I've had, guys. Thanks to everyone who's donated. You know, I'll probably buy some off some of the donations. Like I said, the camera is coming, guys. It's just like one thing. I'm trying to find out the right camera for me. It's like 40 quid, guys, the camera I want. It's like, you know, is it worth 40 quid? I've looked at the reviews. It looks like it's worth 40 quid. But whether or not, you know, I should pick it up. Uh, 40 quid, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Well, guys, I will walk into it and, you know... Definitely promised you guys um, a webcam though, so that's definitely something I'm gonna do. I have promised you guys a welcome to openings in the past, and I bought two, but they've not really been big of they. They've been pretty small welcome to openings, so I'm gonna try and make them like quite big, you know, 20 plus welcome to You know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. That's a ton of welcome to I can't promise everyone, but I'm gonna try. Right, so around 24, where they at though? Where they at? <laughs> 25,000 more XP. <laughs> Guys, if you don't know about the fire points, you know, you get rid of them by just, just being good in the chat. You can actually lose fire points too, guys, so just watch out. You know, bad behavior. If you're having bad behavior again, somebody, I, I don't know, it could be. It could be somebody in the actual live stream. You could be doing something wrong to them, or you could be uh, frightening them, or something like that. You could lose your fire points as well as you're gonna have to deal with, uh, you know, Nightbot. You know, he is a bit of a crazy dude. You know, he, he will try to eat you, so <laughs> watch out for him. Plus, you know, I'm gonna have, you know, for people that just just trying to wreck wreck the channel or just wreck the people in the channel. Uh, with the Order of the Phoenix, you know. What I'm going to do is, we're going to have permanent bans, and sadly, we've already got a permanent ban across two people, but those two people are getting unbanned in about a week now. They've got a week banned. Um, for, you know, taking taking things way, way too far. Like, I just want to warn you guys, if you are being, you know, just, just overall, a bully to somebody, you know, you're just going to be, you're definitely just going to be removed for a week. So I do ban people for weeks, guys, and, and for for just being nasty to people in the chat, especially if you're being nasty to me or anybody who works in my team, you know, we will, we will, um, you know. But also for the people that are doing doing the right thing, they are being nice, you know, they're, they're just loving it, the chat, you know. Just loving the channel, they are gonna get rewards for called fire points, and these fire points they can spend on mini games, and they they are pretty cool actually. And I, I expect a lot more mini games to come in the future. Obviously, the more you watch, the more you earn, and the more you do with it, you know, the more support you do. If you donate, you're gonna get a ton of the points. The points are like a payback for you guys. Like, so I mean, I said I was gonna give rewards back to you guys. 
And this is the five points. It's just the beginning. It's not it's not gonna be the end you know, of the reward, it's the start of the rewards. I'm giving back to you. So I hope you guys do enjoy five points, you know. Um my top five point person right now, believe it or not. I think it's insane Ruiz. He's got something like 74 uh 70 fire points. And that's just from what that's just for watching the stream for for about 70 hours now. He's put, you know, 70 hours into my stream. It's absolutely crazy. 70 hours, you know, that's incredible, not gonna lie. To get that many points, crazy. You know, and the more you watch, the more points you get, you know. And a lot more stuff. Following will... You, after one fall, yeah, you will get... It doesn't work the second fall, it's your first fall, guys. Your first fall, or your second fall, you won't get nothing. So you fall and fall, you won't get nothing from it. But, if you do hit that fall button, you will get five points for hitting the fall button, yeah? The second thing you can do, if you hit the like button on any of my videos, guys, you will ha earn yourself two fire points. If you guys go ahead and donate any type of money, guys, it could be a pound, uh, 50p, two pound, three pound, the more you donate, so 50p, you, you earn yourself 11 uh, points, so incredible amount of points, you know, fire points. And if it's something like 50, 60 quid, you know, 20, 20 quid, 20 quid, it can be like 10, uh, like 20 odd, cold point, 20 odd fire points. I think 20 is the max, I think you can earn 25 points at a time. But you're gonna have to like give like 30 quid or something to get that many points or 20 quid. But obviously, we're still in beta now, the, the point system, so I'd, anything can change, guys. You know, me and my editor, we are changing them to be fair for you guys. So maybe uh, it won't be a cap. Maybe if you put, say, you, you donate 10 pound, you get 25 card points. Uh, 20 card points? Or 25 fire points. Um, donate plus more, you'll get even more. Maybe we'll, we'll donate. We'll, we'll do something like that, guys, for donation. For anyone who donates, you know, you're gonna get a ton of points. Uh, and people just fall in on that, they'll get a ton too. They just won't get as much. Viewing, viewing the channel is an easy way to get points though. Just viewing the channel for five minutes will give you a total of five, car, uh, five fire points. So five minutes, guys, and you will earn five points. Every minute you'll be earning yourself a point. So if you spend an entire hour, that's 60 points there. As well as if you follow once, you will get five points. You hit the like button, you will get another two. If you hit the share button, on the other hand, you will get, I think, I actually don't know the numbers of share button, but I think it's about 20 um, points or 15 points, something like that. Something along those lines, and if you press host, this is it, guys. If you press host, if you try to host my channel, you will get 30 fire points. 30, man, 30. A huge amount. Right off the back, you'll get 30 fire points. Just because hosting is a great way to get people started. Probably won't get as much as donating money in the future, obviously. If you donate your money and we change something, and you say you only get 10 points from us, and we change it in the future, we'll be sure to crack how many points you actually get. Even though you donated like a month ago. So only because the, the point system is only 10, you know, for, for donating two pounds. Um, it could change in the future and we'll give you extra points. So say it goes up to 20 for 10 pounds, we'll give you those extra 10 after. If that's what you're worried about, we will, you know. So, it's called fire because I felt like, you know, I felt like Phoenix fire is, there's a lot to do with fire, so, fi so fire points just sounded awesome, you know. I do hope you guys enjoy your fire points, because I did spend quite, a, I've had the fire points for a while, so that's why I got so many fire points, you know, because obviously I had to stream. For like a couple of days on my stuff, and I've been liking, you know, and sharing my content quite often to get people interested. So I've just got myself a ton of fire points, 
It's been in beta, and I felt like, you know, it had to come out of beta. Um, my system. So I bought it out of beta, and it's now to the public. Clearly, like I said, I've had them since the start. It's just where I didn't think it was ready to come to the public until now. And now I feel like it's still in beta, but I, but I feel like it's a little bit better than I started off with. So That's what's going on over there. I know a lot of people were interested in what I meant by fire points or fire, fire coins. You can call them fire points or fire coins. Whatever you prefer. I call them fire points because I think that sounds a little bit cooler. Fire coins, you know, that sounds pretty cool too. You can call them what the hell you want, fire points or fire coins, whichever one you want. Fire points or, 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 uh, or fire coins, up to you. Both of them, the right names for them. It's just what you call them, innit? I want you to say fire, it'd be, it'd be fire dollars if you want to, when they call fire. But the official name is fire coins, so... Okay. So in, yeah, I wouldn't say we we're close to level 715. I wouldn't say we we're far off. This weapon is so beautiful. What if we could get a camel on the death machine? How cool would that be? Hey Sam, how are you man? How are you? Welcome back to the channel man. You said he would join back for part two, so thank you so much for coming back man. Any questions Sam? Uh, leave them below man. Leave them below. I, w I don't know if you were Sam, but I was talking about, you know, Fire points, card points, or even not fire points, uh, fire coins, and yeah, give them kind of a, quite a harsh description or big description of what they are and what they do for you, and how you can earn them, you know, and how it could change in the future how you earn them. So, only I'm telling you, you'll get this many points for this doesn't mean you're gonna get that shit amount of points in the future. It's just gonna, it's just gonna change as we feel like changing it, you know. It's, do shoot the public and shoot us pretty much. But your attendance on the channel will also give you more. Like, say, say you reach through every stream I'm on and, and you're on you every time, I swear. You're gonna get yourself so many fire points, it's gonna be unbelievable because no one is gonna get lots of fire points for actually, you know, being you, but you're gonna get fire points on top from me for being you. So. It's like rewards, you know, this is just going to be the start of rewards, Sam. You know, I'm going to give, sorry, give rewards back to you guys for, for being so supportive, you know. Um. Uh, you can use them for, like, games and all that, and, um, you can use them also to bet things. So say you want to bet, you want to bet. I want to go to round sixty. Yeah. If you you can put in how many points you have, gamble them, and pretty much if I don't go to round sixty, um, you lose all your fire points. Or if I get to round sixty, you get all your fire points. I you get like a certain amount of fire points. So you can gamble them, and it's just fun game. You know, you can do fun things with them, and more are coming, Sam. So it's like it could, it's like a gambling system in in some ways. You gamble them. You can say, "Oh, wanna bet? I, I bet you that this game." Um, you, for example, yeah, I bet Jordan Phoenix 22 won't will get to round 30, yeah, and you can put a certain amount of points in, gamble them, and if I don't get to round 30, you know, 
you lose all your points, or you put as many as as you lose in anyway, as you put in, and obviously to how many you put in, it doubles how much you put in, so you can get a lot more points that way. And obviously the more, and Sam only because points do hardly anything now. In the future, they could do a lot more. So I don't know. In the future, this is just an example. You could win something because of a certain amount of points. But that's an example. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but. You know, as as the channel grows, maybe that could be something I could do, guys. You know, so maybe you have like a hundred odd points. You know, that could buy you something or something, like maybe an Xbox Live gift card in the future. Like this could be a year from on. Oh, this could never ever happen. It's just, you know, this is just speculations right now. Obviously, I'm still trying to grow my channel. You know, I'm not going to put anything out there yet, quite yet. You know, speculations. I'm just speculating what I can do for you guys. I, I want to, you know, I want to give, want to give something back to you guys. And this is the best I can do as of now. Separating legs from body did not bring result I had hoped. Next 715. Let's get into it. We like to grind all day. Grindy, grindy, grindy. How old was I? Um, oof, I let me think about this. 2016, the date. I come out, zombies come out in 2008. I'm 18. I was 10. I was 10 years old when I started zombies. I was 10 years old. And, you know, I wasn't amazing, I wasn't bad, you know, I was okay. Yeah, I was going like around 27, around 28. Four players sometimes with Nacho and Totten in World of War. And then with that come out, I was getting like 30s, 40s, Shino Numa, um, 60s, 70s. Um, you know, and then Doris, it all kicked off for me. I was getting into the hundreds, you know. And then obviously I played Black Ops 1 and it all went from there. Then I revisited um, the maps when in Black Ops 1 with the DLC, and I just tore the maps apart, went back and, you know, got even the higher rounds than I did before. Black Ops 2 came on, you know, done even better. And Black Ops 3 came on, and now I'm doing absolutely insanely good with my high rounds and that. Round 30. That's cool. I played zombies when I was about seven because my brother showed me what zombies were, and since then I've played ever every single zombie map from Nats to to, Nats to Oshima. Yeah, that's what it is. You, you start something because you see it, you see it for the first time. And you're like, oh my god, this is awesome, and then you you play you play the next map, and it's like, oh my god. I can't get there off this, and it's just drilled in your mind, and you just can't help but play zombies anymore, then. It's just, it's the same with GTA. I had the same problem with GTA. I played GTA for the first time, and I couldn't get off it. Metal Gear, exactly the same problem. You know, all those, all those games, Lord of the Rings, you know, those type of games, I, I just, just grew to them. I was good too when I was a kid too. So love that map. love that game. A little bit of battlefield every now and then was good too. Until I stop, I am Saint Rose was another big factor. That's why I went back and revisited it. You know. I done two part series on that so far. I don't know how it'd be a part three, probably won't be. Just cause um, you know, I've revisited it, you know, I had fun with it. But I don't think it's one of the map games I want to go back to once you 
I, I revisited it because it was free on Xbox Live, but I don't know if I want to play it again. God of Hell was good, but I'm not. Again, I don't want. To, I don't think I want to play that one. I just want him to bring a new Saint Rose. An angry Russian is happy Russian. Same with GTA. GTA, like, it's been out for so long. It's been out since 2013. I want, I want a new GTA now. It's been three years, like, it's crazy. I know it's on next gen, but the only good thing about it, I think, is the first person and the good graphics. I'm not really gonna pick up a game for first person, you know. I was already level 999 in the game, so I didn't really feel like, you know, going back to it. So when you get to like max level, it's a bit boring. Even without payment, I would still seek to slaughter these animals. I suppose when I get level thousand zombies, I'll be like, I'll play for fun. I won't be playing, play too hardcore. You know. I uh, 87 so far. Only 87, because um, I keep lagging out all the time, honestly. really good it's okay you know it's okay I've seen better 100 is why I say it's good I get a hunt I want to try and get 100 on Dries and Draco because I've done 136 on shadows so I want to try and get uh, you know a hundred on Dries and Draco at least just kind of make up for how well I done on Shadows. I'll try and do a little bit better on Dries and Draco. Shield gone already. Nikolai is glad of help, wherever it comes from. You need Okay. I'm 32. I do want to keep the gameplay kind of short. You know, so then you, you guys are going to have a rest, you know, and I can have a rest. And then we can move on to part 3 on zombies.
Oranges. It's gotta be oranges. Oranges was the best. Like, you would... You would play the end of the cutscene, and you would be like... What the hell is going on in Samantha and Teddy's... I think it's Teddy. Teddy's bedroom. I think it's Teddy. I haven't played that map in a long time. Um, I think Samantha's room, okay? The, the two kids are sitting down, and you're like... What the hell is going on? And I, I replay that over and over again. Do the Easter eggs so many times. Or watch a YouTube video over and over again. And think like, my theories are what the hell is going on? And all I come up with is maybe, you know... Maybe Samantha's dad is planning something. You know, it's going to be maybe to save the end of the... To save the world or something. Do something, destroy the zombies. And I think that's what's kind of going on right now. That we're seeing in the zombies. They're rewriting history. You know, to change what's going down in Black Ops 2. To change... Because obviously we all play Transit. The world does rock. Destroy, doesn't it, really? Not a place you want to be, really. Not a place you want to live in. I be right, Moon. Moon is brilliant too. Moon gives you a huge reward. So, in the reward section, Moon was really good. Moon was really good too. So, I don't know. I can't decide much here, but I, I think for cutscene, you know, Orange just took it for the confusion. Because nobody really knew what was going on, and that confused everybody. And because everybody was confused, people liked it. Like, it was just so confusing. We can take moment to consider our next move. Anyway guys, we have come to the end of this stream, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. Anyway guys, this is Jordan Phoenix for you guys. I, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to smash that like button, guys, for a lot more daily content, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch, guys. Because I always post daily content, guys. And do not forget to subscribe to me on YouTube. Thank you so much, guys. I'll read Sam's last comment and we will be out, guys. Ascension only gave you a 90 second death. That was awful. I totally agree. It wasn't very good. But it's still a reward for Black Ops 1. You know, I thought that was okay. But still, it's not awesome. But anyway, I will see you on my next stream, Sam. And I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you have, like I've said... Uh, there is a donation button if you want it on YouTube and on Twitch. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for the support. This is Jordan Phoenix 22, guys, and I'm out.